Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan. I'm Jeff. How you doing? And this is Jeff, the master mechanic. And ah. Jeff is a superstar in the channel. And uh, today we're going to be tapping into a very interesting subject. Jeff and I are going to be discussing the topic of what is full sin compared to 100% synthetic and what these big oil companies like Mobile One and Royal Poo Poo, what they don't want you to know. And today we're going to talk about it. So Jeff, give us a little info on it. Show us the, uh, what do we got here? So we've got, a, we've got a couple of bearing representations here. This looks just like your bearings on your crank. All right. I'm just kidding, it's not. All right. But we're going to start by showing you what a full synthetic is. All right. And a full synthetic, actually, you don't have to make it 100% synthetic to call it full synthetic. Huh. So what hmm. percent could it be? It could be like... Uh, it could be as low as 25% synthetic oh my God. base stock. The rest of it will be mineral stock. So that's a real dirty trick then these big kind companies of. have, like Mobile One. Yeah. Right here, this is the one you see in all the stores. Extended performance. See, and... Oh, no. It doesn't say it anymore. Uh-oh. Okay, so it used to have this really big stamp on the front that said, With Cinerlec. Well, all right. Cinerlec is not... The rest of the oil. Now they've been, it's I think, a little juice. they've been taking the quality out of this ever since this showed up in Wama, I believe. I think so. They sold to a big company called Calumet, and All right. it uh, they just kind of rode the coattails. They were really good. We're talking back in 06, 07. They were at the top of their game, and then somehow they stopped playing the game and kept selling oil. Very interesting. It's kind of like deflating a football. Now, I want to give some uh, some of the viewers here a little perspective. This yeah. is Signature Series, 100% synthetic, and this is not a full synthetic. This is a real 100% synthetic. And this, compared to this, in turbocharger deposit testing, this outperforms this by four times. And you might be thinking, this guy is just making stuff up. You can actually check that out in the description section below. This actually breaks down and thickens and burns off on turbocharger deposit testing, this is four times better. This is 3.6 times better than Royal Poo Poo. Right. So that's the actual difference of the physical test. And these are third party independent tests. And you can also see that on Project Farm where he shows the difference. Yes, the cool Now, video. Jeff, let's show them a very interesting yeah. dynamic uh, so little thing that shows exactly what the difference is. So let's start with, uh, we said Mobile One is our lowest quality. Yes, okay. yes. So let's show them what mineral oil is. So first thing, what we're, we're, well, I'm making Royal Purple now. Or I'm making Mobile One, okay? All right. So what so, is this here, Jeff? Well, this is, this is crushed dinosaur bones. This is our base stock. And okay? that's like mineral oil, yeah. right? And we're going to do approximately, I'm going to say that is three quarters. So when they actually take crude oil out of the ground, they actually refine it. And that refining uh, actually makes it smaller. So you get this rough, irregular molecules. And now that's what it looks like right there. Now I'm getting our wonderful, this is our... Now what is this, Jeff? This is our hydro-cracked synthetic oil. We're going to add this to our base stock. All right. Okay, so we have some... A little bit of synthetic. You see how some of these move better than others. Yeah. So I'm gonna set this down here, and now we're gonna do the Jeff hand scuff test. All right. I'm gonna push down, and I'm gonna go back and forth. And this is, golly, that's boy. There's a lot of scratching on that cardboard. Well, that's Jeff. a lot of. There's little marks, scuffs, scratches. Now, uh, so that's that's your uh, your full synthetic. Let us change the game here, and this is gonna make it hard. We're gonna use 100% synthetic here. Oh, oh, okay, we just got vicious quick. So, I'm gonna take the 100% synthetic, okay? And I'm going to roll, and I'm gonna roll, and I'm gonna do this longer, and I'm gonna take more, and I'm gonna keep rolling, and I'm gonna keep rolling, and I'm gonna take more, and I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna cover everything. Okay, so. This is crushed dinosaur bones with some synthetic stock 25%. This right here is 100% synthetic, and I, I'm pretty sure I just went ham on this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I really gave it probably about twice the effort. So, And I have none of the scuffs. Now, obviously, this is not really what oil does, but this is the best visual representation we can give you. Because if you talk, we, we talk about the different size molecules. So I don't get it, Jeff. So you're telling me that this mobile one I've been buying for years, 
Oh boy. You're trying to tell Sorry me that all that horse pucky has all that crusty stuff in there? Yeah, basically. It's it's got your horsepower eaten up in those rocks, I would say. And what happens to the pistons and cams and all the oh, other parts of the engine? God, you start scuffing, you start losing, you start wearing, you start getting more metal particulate. You know, you have some expected wear inside of an engine, but that's only very little. I've seen engines that go two and three hundred thousand miles up to five hundred thousand miles without rebuilding if you use the correct products. And I'll be honest with you. Now the question is too, Jeff, tell them about the actual ability for carbon to stick to the molecules. Oh, what's yeah. What's it easier to stick to? Well, it's easier. It's or is easier it gonna, to what's it going to stick to? Oh, it's going to stick to something with edges and irregular sizes. So what's going to happen is these are going to go through. This molecule right here is going to fall short. This one's not going to have any coverage because it's smaller. And this one's the one that's going to scratch your shit. Now tell them which one's going to cling to the metal better. Oh, well, we want the closest. We're going to get this. Look how close that can sit next to my finger. All the marbles are touching. They're equidistant away. Okay. And the other side can be a perfect... Uh, this is hard to show. The other side can be perfectly flush. Go right there. Beautiful. So now, the other big important thing is, is that the uh, difference between the 100% synthetic signature series, and that's what Jeff has stocked here at the garage. Oh yeah. The difference is this burns off at half the rate of the one of the best mobile ones. This is the extended performance. Hold that Jeff for a yeah. second. So basically this will burn off one quart of oil in the same amount of time this will burn off a 0.5 quart of oil wow <laughs> and i actually have videos on that i want you to check that out i'm going to put that up right up here in the corner you can check out the actual follow-up videos of one year i've done on amsoil and uh, you might be wondering are these guys paid everyone always asks hey even are these guys paid wait we're these guys yeah we are hey, those guys hey, what the heck wait a minute jeff, that was a leading question i believe did you pay me to do this jeff hell no am i paying you to do it you gave me a kombucha you're right i Ooh, did i've been mildly bribed yes. by a healthy drink yes i did it but definitely not jeff. enough to get my stamp of approval or disapproval on oil because this is science and science i'm passionate about yes you can't so, pay me to lie for science yeah so we have to give this out to the community and i want to personally thank a very very special subscriber uh, actually personally called me and he said even you got to do a thing on full sin oh, full yes. synthetic compared to 100 percent synthetic and what these big oil companies don't want you to know so basically, everyone has this pre-conceived uh, notion that all these full synthetics are all 100%. And you can get this stuff at Wama for very, very inexpensive. What are you doing there, Jeff? I was trying to juggle, but this is the point of the video where I drop stuff. I like it. I like it, Jeff. All right, Jeff's Toss trying. First bounce. Now, Jeff, tell him what you're really good at, though. What does Ooh, that say? That's really good at being the magic mechanic. Now... These marbles, these marbles are pretty amazing. I, I feel like they go away and is it, is it in there? No, I just got my phone in that one. Wait a minute, wait, what else? I got a set of ear pods. Hang on. Jeff's hang on. funny. Yeah, I got I got nothing. I don't know. So Jeff, tell us uh, what is your personal experience with these products since you've been using Amsoil? Over okay, here. well, uh, first off, my personal experience with this is uh, when I buy a car, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it long, I might throw this in. I will only put something that says synthetic on it. I, I don't do anything in bulk. Now, to be Jeff, honest. tell them that the price of this very, this OE oil, this is still 100% synthetic. Yeah. This is less money than Mobile One at Wama. Yeah. As an Amsoil preferred customer. Absolutely. So, Jeff, show them what an Amsoil preferred customer is. There's a magazine over there. Oh, show them. What is hey. that? So, Amsoil preferred customer, if you sign up for a year, this is one of your free gifts. You actually get four of these a year. If you do the whole year, you get 25% off reduced pricing, free shipping on any order over $100. They're going to send you offers in your email. You have a chance of getting free gear, PC points for your purchases. And there are rewards for referring other customers, and we got some good shit in here. That's really interesting. So basically, you're telling me if you become a member, yeah. kind of like Costco or one of these other places, yeah. or almost like a Prime memberships, yeah. you actually get these products 100% synthetic for less money than mobile. And it's less than a Prime membership, to be honest with you. Now, Jeff, though, not only is it less, but tell them, Jeff, 
how much longer are they able to go compared to mobile one than this? Oh my goodness. So my recommendation, and this is based off of me, is if we go with the Signature Series, the Signature Series can go up to 15, 15,000 miles. Did you say that? 15,000 miles. Now, Jeff, tell them what the, what the actual air temperature is here in Henderson, Nevada in the summer. Oh boy, we can get outside air temperature all the way. I think I've clocked about 117 up to 120. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, and then we've got the video. Put the video in the link right here yeah. for the asphalt test. What is the asphalt temperature, oh my, Jeff? What did we hit? We hit like 165 or something. <laughs> it was stupid. Now, the European oil, what are these? What, what cars is this good for? So this is good for the BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche. Um, pretty much anything calls for your oil. And that's 100% synthetic, too. It is 100% synthetic. Too. Synthetic. Now, and this, this one, gear lube, show them, synthetic. show them the thicker gear lube molecules oh, over here. Yes. Show so them those. Have, we have, this is our hypoid gear well right here. Wow. And all of the molecules are the same size. It slides, it rolls, and this stuff is gonna keep the temperature of your differential down. And we have the easy bag. We timed it the other night. I did one of these in that, uh, in the Corvette. We got a rear differential video on a Corvette and I was able to squeeze this in, I believe it was like 14 seconds. And this is what, 100% synthetic? 100% synthetic gear oil. So you'll notice on a lot of these other companies, you're not gonna see that 100% synthetic. And no, why is that, Jeff? Because they'd be lying to you. It's not 100% synthetic. Exactly. It's full synthetic. Yes. So what do you want? You want the mixed up stuff, you know? So if you wanna see for yourself exactly what the differences are, in the description section below, you'll see that. You'll also see my link down there if you want to try the products. Jeff is a master technician. He'll answer all your questions. And I will also answer all your questions on Amsoil every Thursday night. That's we right. actually do a video. It used to be a live video, but now it's recorded. And it's higher production quality. We look we look sexier. Even we look sexier. We're not as stressed out. You're we're, right. I did we're get, focused on the topic. I and, did get the compliment from yeah, that, that woman the see? other night. You're right, Jeff. I forgot about it was that. There, it was there. And then the other woman mentioned something about your beard, too. Something about the beard. I don't remember uh, what well, happened. You have to see. In, tune in Thursday. You have to tune in Thursday <laughs> to see that. So, yeah. So, what else, Jeff? Any other closing notes they need to know about this stuff? Well, uh, you know what? You get you service your vehicle with better product. Your vehicle's going to service you better and last longer. Because you know what? Second largest investment in your life, outside from your house, is your vehicle. You know what? You hopefully in your house you take good care of it so it protects you do the same thing for your vehicle we went out this weekend to the middle of nowhere had my vehicle let go in the middle of nowhere i'd have had a big problem but you know what nothing but good stuff out in the middle of the desert just winging it and also the great thing is in the cold this stuff flows at negative 60 degrees below zero fahrenheit yeah. Quicker crank speed in the wintertime, that's really, really nice. If you want to run a really cold day and you listen very carefully, if you're running crushed dinosaur bones, you can hear, rah, 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 and then it'll start. You have 100% synthetic in there. It doesn't change the crank speed from 30 degrees to 60 degrees. Now, Jeff, tell them, what type of money is this going to save them over the course of the year since they don't have to do three oil changes with mobile? This is good for basically 5,000 miles. Mean, to be honest Out here you, in the heat, this is good for 15,000. So you don't do three other oil changes. So now right. what, Jeff? You've just spent more by putting Mobile One in your car. And how much money do you save in gas? Holy mother of God. That's a hard one to say. I mean, you're 3 to three to 6% is what you're saving on fuel economy. That's crazy. I mean, and let's say 6%, you go through, let's see, 15, 30, 90, we'll say uh, you're approximately 1,000 gallons a year, right? Yeah. That's that's 60 gallons of gas you save on the best case scenario. That's hundreds of dollars a year, Jeff. Yeah. And you only change your oil right. once a year, up to one year, 700 idling hours, even if you do Uber and Lyft. And I actually did an Uber and Lyft field test on the 0W20 on my 2011 Honda Accord. I'm gonna put that link right up here in the, in, uh, in the above, and I want you to check out that field test where I did 10,000 miles, changed the oil filter, and went another 10,000 miles on the nice. same oil change. That's beautiful. And I had to test it for myself because I didn't believe it. And uh, I wanna thank uh, my subscriber, my good man, for uh, giving me the suggestion of doing this video. Awesome, yeah. And uh, so we'll see you Thursday. See you on Thursday. All right, Jeff, let's get a little cheers Let's to do protection. a cheers. I'm gonna do a cheers up here. I got some gear loop. You got some gear loop? Get some gear loop. I'm gonna use this, ah. uh, this big stuff. Ready? One. Cheers to protection. Cheers Boom. to protection, protection, protection. protection. We'll get that eventually. <laughs>